Test number one, fault identification and use of the universal cable. The first test made by the operator consists in the identification of a fault in the motorcycle. When it turns on the key, if the FI signal lamp turns on, it means that the injection ECU has detected a fault. The signal lamp detects a malfunctioning on the vehicle, but it doesn't provide further information. Once the main menu is displayed, the operator uses the arrow keys for menus browsing and selects the brand of the vehicle. The following screen shows the system selection menu. The user can confirm the system he wants to diagnose. In this specific case, injection is selected. The operator subsequently selects the type of system search that can be manual or automatic. In this case, he has chosen the manual search. Two types of manual search can be selected. You can select the vehicle or the ECU. In this specific case, the operator has chosen the search through the ECU. The screen displays the list of the diagnosable systems. In this list, you have to select the system present on the vehicle. Once the choice is confirmed, the tool will display the instructions required to connect the universal cable and to establish the operator connects the yellow clamp of the universal cable to the pin of the diagnostic socket identified by the instructions on the screen. Make sure the electric connection is made correctly. In case of difficulties, an auxiliary pin or a piece of electric wire can be used. Once the cable connection is made, push the Enter key to access the following instructions. In this specific case, the key has to be turned on. Then, make sure the engine main switch is set to run position. The operator pushes the Enter key again. The tool starts the communication with the ECU and the confirmation message is shown on the display. On the main menu for ECU diagnostics, the operator selects the reading stored fault function in order to identify the type of fault on the vehicle. The tool detects a fault and, pushing the Enter key, a detailed description of the malfunctioning is obtained. In this specific case, the malfunctioning is detected on the throttle valve position sensor. In order to finalize the reparation, the operator interrupts the tool communication with the ECU selecting the exit option of the main menu. Then it turns off the key. The operator can now realize the repairing operations, at the end of which it restores the tool communication with the ECU and makes sure the malfunctioning has been solved. Once the repair positive outcome is ascertained, together with the absence of faults on the motorcycle, the communication with the ECU is ended. The key is turned off and the tool is disconnected from the diagnostic socket and from the motorcycle battery. Test number two, use of the data router 5603 in combination with specific cables such as Harley-Davidson, BMW and Triumph and adoption of diagnostic procedures. As in the previous test, the presence of the motorcycle must be checked on the vehicle's list provided with the tool and the appropriate cables chosen. 
In this specific case, the operator selects the data router 5603 for the selection and automatic routing of the communication lines to the ECU together with the specific cable SL010450 called Harley-Davidson cable. The operator connects the data router and the Harley-Davidson cable to the tool. Then he verifies if all the components are firmly connected one with the other. The motorbike scanner 5650 is supplied with a guide dedicated to Harley-Davidson vehicles that helps the user in identifying the position of the diagnostic connectors. In this specific motorcycle the diagnostic socket is positioned under the left side panel. The tool is then connected to the motorcycle connector. The alarm system, if present, is disabled. The key is turned on and the position of the engine main switch set to run. The operator waits until the tool automatically starts, then he selects the Harley-Davidson brand, and then the system he wants to diagnose. Ignition, injection, immobilizer, or dashboard. Subsequently, he proceeds with the manual search and the vehicle selection. Following this procedure, the user can enter the database of the vehicles included in the tool. Once he selects the vehicle, further information associated to the vehicle itself can be obtained supported by images on the screen, such as the type of ECU diagnostics and details on the shape and position of the diagnostic connectors. Following the instructions shown on the motorbike scanner 5650 display, communication with one of the motorcycle ECUs can be established and the main menu can be accessed. Selecting the diagnostic procedures option from the menu, the operator can realize a checkup by means of diagnostic tests on motorcycle components, such as lights, Hands, dashboard signal Hands. lamps, and coils, dashboard signal lamps, coils, and injectors. Once the correct operation is checked, the communication is stopped by selecting exit from the main menu, the key is turned off, and the tool is disconnected from the vehicle diagnostic socket. Test number three. Automatic search function, fault identification, test on the component that generated the fault and parameters display. As in the previous test, the presence of the motorcycle must be checked on the vehicle's list provided with the tool and the appropriate cables chosen. According to the instructions previously mentioned, the cables are connected to the tool, to the battery and to the motorcycle diagnostic socket. The operator waits until the tool starts and then selects the brand, the system and the type of search. In this specific case, the automatic search is chosen. Following the brief instructions shown on the display, the tool identifies the vehicle system and automatically establishes the communication with it. From the ECU main menu, the operator accesses the reading store fault function to identify any fault recorded by the ECU. In this specific case, the tool detects a malfunctioning of the ignition coil and provides additional information, such as the conditions and the detail of the detected error. Since the error condition is intermittent, the operator decides to carry out the erasing stored faults procedure prior to any other operation. Once the procedure is carried out, the operator ascertains that a subsequent selection of the reading stored faults function doesn't detect faults permanence and that such condition enters even at the end of the initial coil test which can be carried out selecting diagnostic procedures from the ECU main menu. 
In order to complete the test on the vehicle, the operator decides to monitor the ECU real-time parameters, making sure that the displayed values fall within the range of the correct operation intervals. At the end of the test, the tool is turned off and the diagnostic cables are disconnected. Test number 4. Connection to the PC and printing. The motorbike scanner 5650 can be interfaced with a PC by means of the accessory cable 10005. This way, and supported by the video 5605 software, the user can visualize the tool display on the screen of his own PC. The video 5605 allows the user to save the screens he is interested in, for example those concerning false identification. In order to create a comprehensive report with information on the vehicle, on the customer and on performed tests, the report created by the user can be printed and handed over to the customer as an account of the interventions carried out on the vehicle.